All right, folks, hey, we got to kill us a 30 minute break here, so uh, tell you a little bit about the truck. Show you a good old daylight dump. How about that? So let's go ahead and get logged on duty on our ELD here. So we can kill a 30. So let's. Uh, Let's get out and roll us a rag. Uh, what I'm mentioning to you, uh, the way we load the trucks and stuff, as far as our weight goes, um, is a suspension gauge. This suspension gauge right here, see how it's sitting on about 48, 47, 48. Normally I like mine to be around 55. Um, and that lets me know I got about 12,000 on my steer axle. Got about uh, 34 on my drives. And then uh, there's a gauge on the trailer also right here. It kind of lets you know how much weight's on these rear. Now, it don't tell you the actual weight. Normally, I like for it to be around 58 to 60. <coughs> because... Uh, on any semi that's going to be running around 80,000 pounds. And you want 12,000 or less on your steer, 34,000 or less on your drives, and 34,000 or less on your trailer axles. 234s and 12 is 80. Now on this load right here, um, on this load right here, whenever I pulled on the scale, I was uh, 10,000 on my steer, and when I pulled off the scale, I was 39,000 on my trailer axle. So that means I got about 29,000 on my drives. So that's a big old fat ticket right there, come on. But we weren't going around no, across no scales and that, so I wasn't really worried about it. That's air bag and trailer lock. You want to dump your bags before you raise it up for stability and then lock your gate so it'll slide out. Let's go back there and kick these mats off so I don't get none on the road for the DOT. We're gonna finish off this this break right here, and then we're gonna call the boss man and see what's next. Come on! All right, so we're gonna get some of this right here. 
I'm gonna try to do a little video. All right. Get a hard hat on. Got your hand on. All right. All right, so we got the cone right there lined up with where it's going to come out of the silo there. I'm going to flip this switch right here. And it's going to start that material flowing. Now with that material flowing, we're going to watch that gauge right here. And when it gets up to 40, we're going to move up. Close to 40 anyway. Alright, then we're going to pull up and center that cone with the center of the trailer. Y'all can see that. I'll let it get up to around 55 on that gauge. And then we're going to pull up and we're going to put that cone right there in the mirror. Right at that front axle on the trailer. Bear with me, here we go. Now we're going to go back here and watch this gauge. We want to get it up to around 60. All right. Woo. I love it when them airbags pop like that. scared the piss out of me. How much weight we got? Well, let's hope. Let's hope we got at least 78,000. This guy right here, he got a little bit too much on. He had to dump some off. Because they won't let you out over 80. Six seven. So we need about thirteen hundred pounds to, to get out of here. So we're gonna go over here and what we like to call a pinch. We're gonna put a pinch on. It. 